Hi guys, first of all, thank you for following Quint channel. I'm Philip Quint and welcome to the first webisode of Quint Essentials. This will be a two-part webisode where I will address a question that I'm being asked most frequently and something that I find to be most important, and that is how to practice. You all probably heard of the famous saying, how do you get to Carnegie Hall? I think the answer is uh, practice, practice, practice. But is it really? It is not just the practice that will get you to Carnegie Hall. It is the effective practice that will get you there or near. Growing up, I practiced a lot, but I remember spending hours and hours without getting the results that I wanted. This was frustrating for my parents, for my teachers, and mostly for me. Thinking back, I think the big mistake was to practice fast and to grasp the work and as quickly as possible. While it was important to develop my brain's muscle memory, I was also memorizing a number of mistakes that after even many years uh, coming back to these pieces, these mistakes were still in my head. I finally came up with a set of rules and strategies of how to make my practice more effective without spending all the extra hours. For this video, I want to outline general rules that I believe will help you with your practice routine. Number one rule is, concentration. Sounds simple, right? Just concentrate on your work and you'll be done in no time. But over the years I realized it's not that simple. Our attention span is only decreasing with time and with all the technology and the gadgets it's only getting worse. And I know that some of you like to practice with the television on. I know some of you do. Dorothy DeLay always had this exercise that she gave her students by repeating the same word in your head multiple times. Let's try it now. Let's say this word um, table. Okay, pause this video now and try to do it for one minute. Just repeat the word table, 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 or any other word that comes to mind. Did you try? Not easy, right? Bottom line here was the first rule. Better to spend two hours of concentrated practice than six hours of mindless running of the piece from beginning to end. And that brings me to rule number two. And for me, it is finding your space. I know this can be challenging at times and we don't always have access to a quiet room or quiet space. Modifying the distractions and giving ourselves a chance to concentrate for more productive work. Rule number three, slow is fast. What does it mean? As I mentioned earlier, throughout my childhood, I love to practice fast. Over the years, I realized that slow practice was essential. Later, when we're more familiar with the work, of course, it is important to start practicing it in different speeds. But those first steps are very important to establish the fundamentals and put everything in place. I'd say that there's probably nothing more important than diligent practice with this incredible new invention called metronome. And I will be doing another video on how to practice with a metronome. So please don't forget to hit the subscribe button and tune in for the second part of Quintessentials when I will discuss the exact steps of how to approach a new piece and get the results in much less time. Thanks for watching.